Dear Billy, I am writing this letter to you as an apology for my recent actions. I acted arrogantly, and I should have thought of the consequences. I sincerely apologize for anything that you feel has harmed you in any sort of way. I didn't mean to call you an annoying prick. You are my friend, and I should never talk like that to a friend. Your parents called, and they wanted me to write this apology letter to you. I hope that you can find in your heart to forgive me. But to be fair, you were kind of egging me on that day. In fact, I remember you throwing my backpack onto a moving truck. You made me lose a year's worth of schoolwork. Then you tried to throw me onto the truck too, but I landed face first onto the street and almost got ran over. That was kind of a dick move, Billy. In fact, why am I the one apologizing? You're always the one doing horrible things to me. Me calling you a prick seems pretty minuscule compared to what you've done, and yet I never heard you say sorry once. After we watched Free Willy, you flushed my pet fish down the toilet, and you kept screaming about how you need to be one with the ocean. Then you did the same thing after we watched G-Force. You flushed my goddamn hamster down the toilet. What the hell's wrong with you? No, actually, I retract my apology. You've always been a terrible friend to me, and I never spoke out about it until now. I meant every single word of that insult. I also reject your apology, even though you never apologize for anything you've done. But in the future, if you do, then I reject you prematurely. I'm done with you, Billy. I'm done with all your stupid jokes and pranks. And your name sucks too. What kind of name is Billiam? No wonder you're so sensitive. We're through, Billiam. I hope you find someone else to tie your shoes, you prick.